Hey everybody, Unstable Gamer here, and welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to be talking about squads in Black Clover Mobile. There's a lot to be gained from squads, so I want to go over everything you need to know about squads, how you can get the most out of your squad, but also so you know what you need to do so that you can help your squad get the most out of it as well. But first, before we jump into that, if you're just now finding this channel and you want to stay up to date with this and other games, consider hitting that subscribe button so you don't miss out. All right, and welcome back. So let's go ahead and jump into this squad. So squads are guilds in this game. It fits the theme of Black Clover Mobile. If you haven't seen it, um, you're going to be a captain of your squad. It, the squads have a max member of 12. So the squads are fairly small. I don't know if that increases over time or whatever. I don't think it does. But when we take a look at squads, there's a lot here, actually. So I want to run through some stuff and hopefully... Hopefully, uh, it helps you understand how much you can get from your squad, but also what, what you need to contribute to your squad so everybody benefits as well. So just taking a look at this left-hand bar here, we've got donations. Make sure to do your donation, donations. This helps get squad Yule and the um, squad crystals here, and that's important because captains in this game, your guild leaders, can purchase things from the captain shop, and those items are for everybody in the squad. So by donating, you're helping everybody in the squad and you're getting some cool stuff as well. We'll go over that here in just a few minutes. We've got missions here. Make sure to do your missions weekly. You got some good stuff that comes out of here. Your currency here to use in the shop for your squad, your squad shop, uh, there's a lot of good stuff in there, especially skill enhancements, stamina, things like that, that you wanna definitely make sure to take advantage of as much as possible. Also, you're gonna get squad experience, which is gonna help level up your squad and then you're going to get these crystals as well. Uh, so here's the shop. Let's take a look at what we have. The squad shop, this is for you personally as a player. You can go in here and you can get uh, experience potions, upgrade stones. Now in here, what I'm going for, here's my suggestions. And this is, this is for me, right? And these are weekly purchases. I get all of the shards, fragments, and crystals of will. This is all for skill enhancements. So you can level up your skills for your mages. There's not enough of this in the game. But there is... A few different places to farm this stuff like with your region shops and things like that uh, that's going to be helpful so that you can go out there and level up your mages and get them more and, and and get them stronger also you got stamina here you got three of these that you can purchase so i would max that out get all of this stuff first then go for the experience potions and then the upgrade stones these things can be farmed a little bit easier than this stuff down here but that's what you get for the squad shop Captain shop. This is the stuff that you can see. I don't know if everybody can see the captain shop or if it's just the captain, but in here you've got stamina. So you can purchase three of those. You can see that I purchased one so far for my, uh, for my squad here. You've got some Yule, some SSR shared mage pieces here. So we're not going to hit the 500k. We should hit that next week though, but this is some pretty good stuff for you to get from your squad. Plus you got some bond tickets. I wish this was up a little bit higher. It'd be nice to get a full 10 pull by the end of the week. But um, you can get that as well. And then you can get some stuff to decorate uh, your squad hall here as well. Uh, so when we take a look at this, kind of what I've been focusing on is we got the memory ticket. I want to get the stamina out to everybody in this shared mage piece. Uh, those are the two pieces that I was going for first, the stamina and the shared mage, mage piece. But since we're not going to make it, um, we did get that memory, that memory ticket down here. It's only one per week. Um, other than that, we have some squad challenges coming. So make sure, make sure that you're active in your squad. So the squad has to be at least equal to or higher than one, which we are, which everybody starts at. You have to have 10 or more squad members. And then your last week's contribution has to equal 10,000 or higher, right? So when we take a look at what that looks like, we can go into lobby here. You can go into, what is it? I think it's, is it log? Yeah, log, weekly contribution, we're at 16. So we're going to make it uh, for our squad challenges. So really looking forward to what that looks like. I think this is the first time they've become available since launch. So I'm not sure what to expect there, but um, there are rewards that you get for participating in your squad challenges. Uh, lots of stamina. You know, the cool thing about this game, 
that I've noticed. There's a lot of opportunities to get stamina just by playing the game, doing challenges and events and stuff like that. And there's a fair amount of summons and Yule that you get as well. I mean, I think I'm sitting at 5 million Yule. And um, I brought myself all the way down to like 2 million just, uh, I think, maybe three, four or five days ago. So um, there's a lot of opportunity in this game if you take advantage of everything the game has to offer to really collect a lot of this stuff so you can get far in the game. All right, so squad challenge is huge. Boss battles are coming up as well. Don't know when, but looking forward to that. And then, so that's pretty much it there when you take a look at that. So make sure, oh, attendance rewards here. Make sure you go in here. You got basic awards here if you, if you uh, just log in every day. In order to claim these rewards, you need to hit that squad button, right? This button down here, whether you're in your hideout and you hit the squad button here, or you click the clover up here and hit your squad button here. You have to go into your squad screen here in order for your attendance to count. I think it's kind of a bummer because I've got a bunch of people. My, my members are, are logging in every single day, but not always remembering to hit that squad button so that it counts. Because you got some pretty good attendance rewards here as well. So you'll get basic rewards if it's just you logging in. But if you would hit your goal here, so six at least, so at least half of your alliance hitting that squad button, then you're going to then get these advanced rewards. So it's one or the other, right? You either hit your goal to get the advanced rewards or you don't, and you're going to get the basic rewards. So either way, you're going to get some rewards, but you get better rewards, obviously, if you hit your attendance goal here. Make sure to hit your button. Um, and then one final thing here. I think for squads, one of the coolest things is since you have all of your members in one space, right? When it look uh, when you look at these types of events that are popping up, let me go into here where you're sharing codes to join squads. Definitely make sure to share that within your own uh, squad as well, because there's a lot of good rewards that you get through here. Just kind of going in here, and I don't know if everybody really kind of focuses on this, but there's a lot of great rewards, like I was saying. So let's go in here and just take a look at what we can get. So right here, just by reaching account levels, you get some decent Yule here, you get summon tickets, you get stamina, you get experience, more summon tickets, you get a lot of good resources. You get a, a, a bunch of black crystals here as well, and then uh, some more summons and stuff like that, and more Yule. So as you're working through this, um, and just doing stuff that you would normally do, uh, then you're going to get some great rewards. So definitely make sure to focus on this kind of stuff as well. Share your codes in with your squad. There's other places to share them as well. But definitely take advantage of your squad and and the um, the communicating that you can do within your squad with all of this so everybody gets as many rewards as possible. Like I said, the game's pretty gen generous, uh, and I think it's pretty cool that they built the game this way. I haven't really seen a game like this where I'm starving for something. I'm not starving for anything, and I feel like I'm progressing meaningfully, um, even on a daily basis, and more so on a weekly basis. So very cool stuff. That's everything there is to know about squads. A lot of cool stuff that can be gained from squads for yourself, but also ways for you to help your squad as well. All right, everybody, that's what I had for you. Very curious, what do you think? What do you think of the whole squad setup? Um, like I said, I think it's pretty awesome. All right, everybody, as always, I wanna thank you all for taking the time to watch the video if you liked it. Make sure to hit that like button and share your thoughts and questions in the comment section below. Take care, everybody, and we'll talk to you next time.